So what I do is attune my myself like a radio. Tap in, plug in to your field. Seeing your colors, I start feeling your feelings, coughing or stomach aches or sore throats or headaches. I think that the paths are many, but the truth is one. <laughs> My name is Nina Ashby and I'm a psychic reader and a healer. Don't worry, I won't say anything that's going to embarrass you too much. Too much, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. I see the world as a moving cloud of energy with people, animal, trees, nature, etc. There's this rhythm and rhythmic flow, and I observe it as color. <coughs> here I am, and I'm coughing. I wasn't coughing before, so there's something here about you choking back. Oh. When I was three years old, I remember standing at the top of the stairs and my mom was following up behind me and I was mesmerized by the colors and around her and I saw like a light behind her and I wondered if it was a, a person or something and so I mentioned this to my mother and she just stopped in her tracks and gave me this look. It was hard because I had nobody to talk to about it, and so I just never really explored it for a long time. So what I did unconsciously was go to my world of color and really enjoy my world of color, and I did that through art. I remember being quite young and receiving a box of Crayola crayons, 64 Crayola crayons, you know, all those colors, and I was so excited because I could put a name to a color and begin to organize that information. There is a feeling here of being stretched. You're not entirely comfortable with it yet, but you're, you're yeah. getting there, you know, it's so okay. <laughs> Everybody is an open book. Even though you think you're closed, if you have eyes to see it, you can. Not that I go around spying on people all the time, only when they ask me. <laughs> I've been doing this work for about 40 years. I know that there is life after life and the reason I know is because I connect with passed over souls for other people and I've also connected with my husband. He gives me little signs sometimes or I can feel him or I can smell his cigarettes as he's walking through the house or things like that and uh, now that he's passed into the other world he needed to go and I needed to stay, and that's fine. So I miss him, but I'm not gonna stop living because he's not here. You are very intuitive, <laughs> and that's a great part of your skill set. So validate it. Cool. Stop arguing with yourself. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> We're all searching for love and happiness and purpose. Nobody makes you happy, you make you happy. And for me, that's the essence of spirituality and it's the essence of what drives my faith, my faith that I have a purpose, being able to inspire others and perhaps then opening up other people's visions of the world. It works. Good. So, okay, so I'm going to kick you out. Yes. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs>